Okay, page seven was the last page we worked on, so let's turn the page. I'm going to leave the back of page eight blank for now and turn to page nine. And I'd like you to write this objective at the top of the page. It's the same objective you wrote in your planner. I can multiply and divide integers. You're going to need one half of one of these papers, so cut this apart. And then you're going to just cut around the outside. We're not cutting all the dotted lines. We're just going to cut around the outside so this is a big giant oval. going to cut this dotted line here. I'm leaving that as it is for now. And on the inside, first we're going to fold this in half. And before we glue it down, we're going to do a little bit of decorating. So I have some different colors here. On the inside, I want you to draw a triangle. Take up most of the space in here. Triangle like this. At the top of it, I want you to put a positive sign, kind of like a crown up there. And on the bottom left and the bottom right, put two negative signs. What this is showing is if I am multiplying or dividing two negative numbers, if I cover these up, I get a positive number. If I'm multiplying a negative number and a positive number, if I cover these two up, I'm left with a negative sign, and that's going to help me remember what kind of answer I have. So let's go ahead and do a couple of problems as examples. Let's try negative 7 times 4 equals I've got a negative number and a positive number, so I'm going to end up with a negative number. This is going to be negative 34. I'm sorry, not negative 34, negative 28. Not sure what I was thinking there, negative 28. Now let's just draw this down here to show. I'm going to have my triangle. I'm covering up a negative, I'm covering up a positive, that leaves me with a negative. So I've used one of these for the positive 4, I used one of these for the negative 7. My answer then is this negative number. This also works with division. If I have negative 64, and I'm dividing it by negative eight. Let's draw our triangle again. This negative and this negative would be covered up and that's gonna leave me with a positive. So I know my answer is gonna be positive. And 64 divided by eight is eight. Now let's take a moment for you to glue this down into your, your books. Again, on your spiral, this is on page nine. Let's get it glued in. Just take a moment to do that. Remember our phrase, dot, dot, but not a lot. Get 
that glue down. And you can take a minute to go ahead and color in the symbols here. I'm going to use my favorite colors of purple and green. And then on the left hand side on page eight, we're going to do a little bit of practice. You can keep this open. I'm just holding this closed so for the video we have some space here. Then on the left hand side, I want you to get into your book and do a little bit of practice. We're going to be on page 94. And I would like you to do. Numbers, let's see, uh, 5 through 12 and 22 to 29. And you can do those problems right here on this page. Again, you're going to want to keep an eye on this side so you remember what our rule is. If I have a positive and a negative, I end up with a negative. If I have a negative times a negative or divided by, I get a positive. 